the messenger. An old man comes from far away. He says, the king has summoned you. Take this packet sealed with red wax. Take these directions and leave at once for the capital of X. From far away. He says goodbye to his wife and young son. was a port, then an uncharted ocean. He floated down rivers and crossed vast deserts, dense forests and mountain passes, choked with balls of rock and ice. At the edge of the steppe, he fell ill with fever and lay for weeks in a village where no one spoke his tongue. He was taken for a spy and held for a year in a castle keep. On an island, he fell in love with a widow and lived there for years until he awakened again to his task. He was captured by nomads and sold as a slave, but they escaped and barely survived another desert. no longer remember no king, no capital of X, only a great circle. He comes to a door. His knock is answered by a man 
wearing what was once his face. And he says, the king has summoned you. Take this packet and these directions. And leave at once for the capital of X. She had been alone so long, she couldn't remember her parents. Once she had had a husband and child, but they died long ago, and she couldn't remember them either. to stones. One day, in the woods, she discovered a child. Lost and weeping, she took her together, they, 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 they wept together, and once they laughed, they, they discoursed with owls and bats. They could change hawks to geese, trees to fields of clover. They endure. 
endured the white nights, their hut grew to a cottage. Then a fine house, a mansion, smoke rose from their seven chimneys. A distant train whistle, the sighs of the The girl killed her and ate her and grew old alone in the old woman's hut.
song unheard before. And the trees bent over to listen. upward and vanished into the sky, into the sky. The birds stopped their own singing to let the boy's song float free. He walked to town and the song surrounded him. It made a shadow in his shadow. All the people came out in the street and began to Without eating, he sang without sleep. Some days he was hollow, some days see a boy tied in a nut. The song stretched him, stretched him taut as a string till he could see his feet. It shrunk him down to the size of a fist in the air around him. When he stood on the cliffs, the sea below him boiled. When he lay on his back, the sky above burned. Red flames pierced the clouds. The song consumed his mother and father. He swelled up with the song till he thought he would burst. And when he could swell no longer, he began to grow a carapace, white, lusterless, 
chin to his The song was his shell and every hour a new color and texture. It thickened and grew and crowded out everything. Orchestras in distant cities found themselves deep in the song. The players let go of their instruments. And still, the song played. The boy grew and grew. Nowhere on earth was free of his song. And still he expanded. The song filled the galaxy with one unbearable the song that held all worlds together, together, together. It bent the boy to the universe. Then it bent By day, they gnawed wires and cords. By night, scuttled close to the walls. They were happy there. Then, then, Rat Mother died! <laughs> to live with them. They called her Rebecca. They dressed her in pinafores and sent her off to school where she failed every subject. Mean girls tried to torment her, but they spoke in a language she didn't understand. The family took her to the dentist to the county fair. They assured her that she was as if one of their own. 
but she didn't seem to care. They came in their way to love her, but they did not share her appetites, nor think it as rat girl thought, and she knew nothing of Then one day, she withdrew through the rat hole in the old wall. There at night, she listened family. their song with her gnawing. Gnawing, A man goes on a search, but doesn't know it's a search. He just feels restless, unhomed.
thinking this is the thing, without knowing this is the thing, he denies it's the thing. He recognizes nothing. He doesn't pause. He keeps searching for something already erased. But somewhere within him, the thing lost and found and lost again makes itself known, rises up in disguise and is buried. So one sets out again in search of the one thing that doesn't exist, that I will never again have to search for. 